friends. Well, yes, I've got another shark vacuum cleaner to unbox for you today. I'm quite surprised that this model was available in the UK. I had no idea this particular shark, which is model NV350, I didn't know that this was available. I was just browsing the internet, as one does, and I went on a website I don't often go on, which was Tesco Direct, and I noticed that they had this shark. Now, this shark is the most like the Morphe Richards models that I used to own, and I've demonstrated a couple of times. I had um, a Morphe Richards lift away, which was basically a shark branded Morphe Richards. That was introduced into the UK before Shark really started to make inroads. So for some reason, Tesco, possibly it's exclusive to them, were selling this. So this is probably the most basic Shark upright you can get in the UK. Now at the time of making this video, it was saying limited stock. So by the time you see this, it might not be available anymore. I couldn't even see it on Shark's website either. So, here we go. We've got the owner's guide, of course, and uh, there's a quick start guide as well. First thing, it's a lovely navy blue colour. First thing out of the box, we have the hose. And I'm glad to see but this shark has got a suction control, just a little vent to lower the suction. My Shark Rocket Upright Cleaner, that's one of its main failings. You can't adjust the suction power, but I'm glad to see you can on this one. So you've got quite a short but stretchable hose and a very nice comfortable curved handle. Pop that there. Next, out of the box, we've got this little device, which I believe is to attach the two cleaning tools. In fact, it says on it, it says, can we see, accessory holder, dusting brush on the top and crevice tool on the bottom. First thing, out. The main part of the cleaner, standing on its head, seems a lot lighter actually than the power head of my Shark Powered Lift Away, which in fact I've got in this, I was reusing it today in fact, my Shark Powered Lift Away. I still think, at the time of making this video, I still think the Shark Powered Lift Away is a fantastic vacuum. This I think will be quite a good vacuum, but not quite as good. Obviously this doesn't have the lift away, well it does have the lift away feature, but not the powered lift away feature. I do like the colour, I must say. And this navy blue. No chrome on here, this is something I've come to expect from Shark, the chrome highlights. So it looks quite plain without. But yes, from my recollection it's very similar. To the Morphe Richards, maybe even a little less deluxe than the Morphe Richards. The Morphe Richards did have some chrome on it, the white one I had anyway, had certainly had a bit of chrome. Ah, mmm, oh dear. Very, very soft brushes on this particular one. So I don't think that's going to do as well, pickup wise, as the Powered Lift Away, which has much stiffer brushes. Mmm. Similar looking brush roll. Again, well, it doesn't really clean close to the edge either side, does it? It's not going to get very close that side. A little bit closer that side, but uh, not very good at all, really. You've got a little indicator light. So obviously this will cut out if you get um, anything caught in the brush. Squeeze tabs to remove hose. That's if you ca in case you get a blockage. You know, the hose does pull out of the base. In fact, I think I remember having a bit of trouble with this before. Anyway, it does come out. I won't show you now, It'll make the video too long, but that comes off the side hose if you get a blockage. So, there is the power head. 
next, a bit more cardboard. And a bit more cardboard. Put that down there. Now I'm not sure if this is... By the coldness of that, that feels metal. Yes. So you've got your metal handle, which also of course is your extension wand. There's a little extension wand release button there. And at the top we've got the cord hook that should rotate, yes. The lower cord hook, I think, is on the cleaner body itself. We've got a cord hook to keep the cord out of the way. So that all seems satisfactory. And next out, we have the main suction unit. And let's put that on the floor for a minute. Very basic, this. Not even a turbo brush or an extra long crevice tool. I think all the other shark attachments I've got, most of them should fit actually. But with this particular shark, with the above floor tools, all we get is this dusting brush. Quite a nice design, full sized brush with a swivel rotating head and a very short Doubly little crevice tool. You've got the shark branding there. You've got suction relief. You can see right through it either side so it doesn't block off the suction so it'll still have airflow even when you block the end off when you're doing down your nooks and crannies and down the sides of your chairs, etc. So that's what uh, that's all we've got. Now next we'll have a look at the main motor unit. So yes, this is basically what we had as the Morton Richards, more or less. This part looks very similar. I sold both Morton Richards ones I had. I had a red one, which I think was a slightly more basic model because it had a shorter mains lead, and I had the white one. You can see the white one in action. This is a video I made quite a while ago when I was in a holiday cottage in the Yorkshire Dales. And all they had to clean up was a pneumatic Henry Micro. Just undoing the flex. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, so just had a Henry Micro. That's all the cleaners used. And so uh, I took my Morphe Richards lift away and was astounded by the amount of dirt I got out of the carpets in that cottage that had only, only been cleaned with a suction cleaner. And prior to the Henry Micro, I think I found some vacuum bags for, I believe it was a Morphe Richards cylinder. So it seemed to me that uh, that cottage had never seen an upright vacuum cleaner on its carpets. So it's an official UK model, because you've got the UK moulded on plug. And you've got the little cleat thing that uh, keeps the cable all together. Now this one's actually got an energy label on the bin, which I will take the bin off actually. Ah, oh, you see, oh, you see, they've really improved things, Shark. I've forgotten. To take the bin off here, you've got to undo both of these. Like that. And then it should lift off, should it? It could be quite, quite stiff. Oh, there we are, yes. So here's the bin, shark lift away, no loss of suction. Here we have the energy label. Let's take it off and have a look at that. So it's a B. Hmm. It's a B for energy. So what's the wattage? So it's actually a 900 watt motor on this one. It gets an A rating though for dust emissions. It gets a C for carpet cleaning performance, a D for hard floor cleaning performance, and it's fairly loud at 82.6 decibels. Right then. Yes, it's all coming back to me. This looks very familiar. We've got typical shark filtration system here. Top filter made of a sponge material, and then a lower filter made of a felt material, both washable. 
that stays a bit cleaner. The, the sponge filters do get dirty a lot quicker um, than the filter underneath. And then underneath the filter, that's where we have the suction motor. So that just pops in. You can only put it in one way because it's shaped in that way. I've got a final HEPA exhaust. I think this is washable but you shouldn't need to attend to that very often. Most of the dust is collected and trapped by the other two but maybe an annual basis you might need to give that a clean. I think it's washable, it might not have been on the earlier versions but it should be. I'll confirm all this when I do a demo. Would, would make it look a little less cheap if that was a nice chrome grill I think. And it just had a bit of chrome on the head. So I've got the on off switch at the top. So obviously it's twin motored because this is a suction motor and I've showed you the shown you the brush roll. So you've got three positions off, bare floor, and brush roll on. Let's have a look at the bin. Looks a reasonable capacity. You've got your emptying. Yep, that's not going to fall. Yep. Never, never works first time. It should work on the second occasion. Yep, there we go. So you can empty the bin out to that way, and if there's any debris still caught, of course, just like all the other sharks I've used, the shark uprights, you have also can empty from the top. So it's the same cyclonic system by the looks. You've got the mesh, metal mesh shroud in the middle. So pretty basic. But all this can be cleaned out quite easily. I have rinsed mine underwater before. I've not submerged, but you can rinse these as long as they're thoroughly dry before you put them back. Okay, let's assemble the machine needs to put the suction unit on top of the power head until it clicks in place. Just lower it down. There we go, that's clicked in. If we want to release it for the lift away function, we just press this button here and then it lifts away. But for now, we want that to stay on, so that's clicked in. Now we need to attach the hose. To attach the hose, we just need to align these two arched shaped cutouts with the corresponding shapes on the hose inlet. So just push it, line it up, there we go, and click it in place. There we go, is it in, it's in one side. There we go. That can be removed if you need to check for blockages. You just squeeze the two little tabs either side and the hose comes off. Next we need to attach the handle slash extension wand until it clicks into position. Just push it down. Might need a firm push. There we go. The accessory holder fits onto the top of the wand like so. Let's push it down over that lug that sticks out. Now we can put the accessories on the holder with the dusting brush on the top. Just push it down and the crevice tool goes on the bottom like so. And finally we just need to click the handle into place. Okay I've plugged it in. I'm just going to judge the suction through the hose just by putting my hand over. Not the best way of judging suction but it'll give me a rough idea. Yep it's got a good suck to it and it's got a very nice wide uh, diameter as well of the hose. When I was blocking my hand on the end I could hear the suction relief valve coming into action on the machine itself which prevents it from overheating. If you were to get a blockage or you're continually blocking the end of the hose the suction relief device will make sure the air still flows through to the machine and through the motor to stop it getting too hot. Let's click that back on I really don't think it's going to be as good as the powered lift away, but it's a, a more basic, it's an earlier model. 
But from what I remember of the Morphe Richards version that I, that I owned, it was pretty good. Although, as I said earlier, the brush roll does seem quite a lot softer. But uh, it's still my, it's still got the lovely swivel action. Still feels very light in the hand. Right, we'll switch it on and turn the brush roll on as well. It did actually seem a little bit harder to push than my powered lift away, I'm not sure why. It would be easier if I was to open the suction inlet of course. So yeah, it's not a patch on the lift away I have to say. That model is the model I judge all my new vacuums by. Speaking of the lift away, I've got some dirt here in the lift away's dirt container. Let's pop some down on the carpet. There we go, quite a lot of dog hair there. Let's spread it out and rub it in and we'll just go over it to finish the video. Oh yes, there is a lot of dog hair from Daisy. A few bits of paper, some gritty dirt as well. So this will be a very brief, quick performance demo if you can't wait for the main demonstration which will be coming up as soon as I can <laughs> get round to it. There we are. Well, that's quite a nice bit of dirt there. I'll reposition the camera so we can see all of it and we'll see how well this shark lift away does at picking it up. Despite having a softer brush roll, that did a pretty good job actually. So all in all that isn't bad at all. Mm -hmm. 